Hello, Martin Freeman here. She's my friend, and she's a good friend, you know. And no, I don't know exactly how I feel. I'll feel like a friend feels, whatever that is, you know. But as I said, I'm not going to ask her again. Come on. I might ask her again. Well, John Watson uh, is an army doctor who's just come back, as in the original stories, from Afghanistan. Afghanistan or Iraq? Sorry? Which was it, Afghanistan or Iraq? Afghanistan, sorry, how did you... Ah, know? Molly, coffee, thank you. Was love actually on this Christmas? Presumably it was. It must have been somewhere. It's very popular here, but in America it's like a serious business. I've been asked in America if I've ever done anything else. <laughs> <laughs> this lovely couple came up to me, I can't remember which American airport, and said, um, we really loved you in Love Actually. It was amazing. It's one of our favourite films. Have you ever done anything else? I was like, why you little? <laughs> 45 Years of Prog and Roll by Brian Pern. Read by Martin Freeman. Can I stop you there, Martin? I've got a bit of a problem with that. Oh, OK, what's wrong? Well, you just sound like Martin Freeman reading a book. Uh, well, I am Martin Freeman reading a book. Do you have a different voice? A different voice? Mm. Like what? I don't know. Something less Martin Freeman-ish. Do you know when someone comes up to you if the, if this is, oh, here we go, yes. the Hobbiton? Yes, I do. Oh, you do? With all respect to anyone who is or isn't this thing, I think you, if, if it's a female between 16 and 25, I know that's going to be Sherlock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the way that works. You wearing any pants? No. Okay. 45 Years of Brog and Roll by Brian Byrne. Read by Martin Freeman. Nope, can I stop you there? Sure. That sounds like Brian Pern doing an impression of Martin Freeman. It was meant to be me doing a voice that sounded a bit more like yours. I'm sorry if I misunderstood that. Can you guess what woodland creature Martin Freeman might be? Careful. <laughs> Other side. Ah. Uh, keep it clean. It's really unlikely. Cat, Thank we you. cat weasel? Unbelievable. <laughs> I said, what about your bowels? She said, what about my bowels? Well, you said they were unpredictable at Markham. Get them to the Canary Islands. They're going to be all over the place. I was at a gig years ago, and I was at the urinal, and it was uh, I can't, the interval or whatever, and, and there were two guys, and they both clocked me. I think this was from office days, you know? And, um, and they both clocked me and looked at each other and went, has you got a big one? <laughs> 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 it was literally like, probably having a little... <laughs> Life isn't about endings, is it? It's a series of moments. And, um... It's like, if you, you know, you turn the camera off, it's not an ending, is it? I'm still here. My life's not over. Come back, come back here in ten years. See how I'm doing then.